are starting the layout for the belt covers, the motor covers right here. It comes out just to this yellow, yellow piece here. It's all the cover. I shouldn't say motors. There's another one that covers the motors, but this will come out to the edge of the, the yellow part of the frame here in front of the belts. Ready, everything comes out. Some of you have asked about uh, the board for uh, <laughs> yeah the, the tunnel. For whatever reason, it wouldn't print. So I made up these three. I'm just gonna make my own tunnel. There we go. I just have to glue them together. You get the idea. Still have to sand them. They got tape on the back yet, but make my own damn tunnel. In this part, hopefully you can see, I sealed up all those holes. So yeah, this one plus two more, then we're on to bed mounts. Hot dead. Alright, so we're just about to start doing the, the fan duct. Get the outline going here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there it is. Look at my little drill. It looks like it's gonna go this way. Okay, that's fine. The outline of it. Um, yeah, looks like it's the two scale. I was kind of worried about that. Put you over here, you might be able to see better. I have an extra piece of tape in the middle where it's smearing there, darn it. I thought I miscounted and then I went with it, but that's alright. It's going to build up from there, so that's not a problem. come back when it gets up a little bit more you really can't see a whole lot at this point and we'll be back well this is going to be the first one I do that has support I'm doing the 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter by 20 millimeter cooling fan duct for the motherboard with support and it's, like I said, the first one I've done with support. show you when we actually start putting all the parts together. Now again, I'm not going to make you watch the entire build. That's 
supposed to take two hours. I suppose it could. Now I'm not going to record the whole thing. Kind of interesting how it's it did the brim. The part it's doing now is actually part of the fan unit. You'll be able to see when I'm done. I won't take it off the board. I'll show you everything and then as I clean it up, what it actually looks like when it's all said and done after it's cleaned up and put together and what the raw print looks like. But so far, just like, I know I said I wouldn't say it no more, but like all my others, I'm very happy with the print quality this is doing. Now that outer edge that you see on the bottom that it's doing back there, that's just support. That is not the part. The part's actually about a half inch above that. <laughs> well, no, not a half inch. Maybe three-eighths of an inch. So I'm assuming these little bars it's making are what it's going to sit on. It's making like a little a little grid for it to ride on so nothing drops down. It's going to be interesting. It's wasting a little bit of filament, I know, but the only way we're going to learn is do it. So it didn't fill it all in though. In the middle there's some where it crossed over. Oh, there it's now filling in those. I didn't know how it was going to do it. Yeah, it looks like it's going to fill it all in the cross, cross section. I said it before, I'm just glad it knows what it's doing. You can see up on top here a little bit, you can see the little grid pattern that it made. And again, that cross, those little squares you see are just the support. That's not the part at all. If you don't have one of these, save your money, get one. They are so, so freaking awesome. Just watching it. <laughs> It's just cool, you know, and, and you get the part afterwards for whatever you're doing. In this case, I'm making a cooling duct for my motherboard, but so it actually has a practical use. I mean, just watching it is just fascinating. Like, well, those of you wondering at home, we're at 2%. <laughs> it's actually not that big of a part. It's, it's pretty... It'll probably end up about this size. You can see that. It's all said and done, roughly. Not that big. With the support on it, what it's doing now, it's got to take that up about three-eighths of an inch to support where it's actually going to build the platform. It's just cool. I mean, that's all I can say. It's just cool. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Well, not end it, but stop the video for now. I won't make you watch the whole thing. And we'll come back when we get up to where it's actually doing the, the board itself. Now it's actually doing the platform that's going to be part of what's really going to be there. Kind of see from here that wall you see going up is part of the support. Look in between there, all that'll be broken off. So from here, be around back so you see the spacing. The 
Now I'm not sure what happened here with the fan trap. I got some holes in there. That's supposed to be solid. And quite clearly, is not. I mean, it's an easy fix. I can melt some plastic on, you know, we get it all cleaned off. I'm gonna have all this stuff left over. I can fill the holes in, but I'm not sure why it did that. that little bit of the fan shroud and it's pretty damn good. Not even sure why that little platform is that big. <clears throat> the piece that we're going to put on here fits right into this, bolts into the holes, there'll be two more up higher. The fan will be on this side. Actually, you know, I'm not even sure why it's building it like this. You watch that a minute. Bring it up on the. So, this is what we're building. There's that little duct right in there where I told you there were some holes right here on the one I'm building. The motherboard or the control board will bolt on here. And then the duct will have these two holes blowing out this way. The fan itself will go inside here and bolt in. You can see the two holes here that we've already got done. And then this right here has got some holes in it on mine. As you can clearly see, I didn't print so good right there. And I don't know what these holes up here are about, but... Oh, that's where the board bolts on. Okay, that's right. So yeah, that little fan duct didn't do so good. Definitely some spacing in there that... It is an easy fix though. Be nice if I didn't have to fix it, but it's an easy fix. You see, this last piece out here wasn't even doing anything. I don't know why it printed that. So now here, yeah, same thing. It's not even attached to anything. So these two end ones are kind of worthless, but they're there. We are, as you see, about 35%. I didn't speed it up at all. It's just running at 30 millimeters per second. All in all, doing a really good job, except for that ducting right there. That's my only issue. Otherwise, looks pretty good. There's a top-down view. Now let's close this one. And then I'll show you the other end of it. I should have left them both on there. And this is upside down. That open spot will actually go down on the motherboard. Well, I'll bring the other one up here beside it. There we go. This piece we flipped over, shoved in here on the other side. Oop, flip over. Come on. There we go. This, so we flipped over, bolt it to these two holes, with those two holes, run across the top of the board, venting it, and then these will let the air out so it doesn't, you know, build up any kind of pressure. And the fan will be shoved in here, on this end. So all in all, pretty decent little design, other than the little E right there, but... Now I just saw... Oh no, never mind. I thought I was going to have to put support under here, but it looks like it's going to be flat. Yeah, it'll be flat, so we don't have to support that. Good. Good, good, good. Go ahead and jump out of here. Basically, we're just waiting on it. It's moving along. We're at 36%. It says 
45 minutes if I'm understanding this timer right. That's about right. I guess we did start about 11.15, it's now 12.01 a.m. I don't know why, I only build at night. I'm just a night person. But yeah, we'll melt some plastic or filament from over there. It always does it. It knows where I'm going. <laughs> we'll put it in there and then we'll we'll kind of sand it off and make it all look nice and pretty. All in all, a really, really good job it's doing. It's kind of got what they call scars where it's dragging across. Not sure why it's doing that. We need a little fine tuning. Not too bad, but I mean it's going to be buried inside the, the next layer, but still. Alright, just letting you know where we're at at this point. We'll come back when it's all done. Unless I see something interesting. You know, when it gets up to the top of the fan or something. Otherwise, I'll be back when it's all done and we'll break it loose from the, the supports. And kind of clean it up a little bit. Nice thing is I won't have any blue tape on anything except the bottom here of the fan. And that's going to be on the very bottom anyway. And that is pretty thin. I can see the blue through it. Alright. 78%. Those walls are really, really thin. I'm not too sure about this. You can actually see over here, there's some holes in it. That's a flimsy. I know the fan's going to be in there and the fan itself will pretty much make that solid. The floor, on this side over here, that connects up to the, the other part. It's actually pretty solid though. These things, and I'm assuming the top that it does, it goes over the fan there. Right, you can see that they're pretty flimsy. But again, the fan itself is going to make that solid. It's only there to push air. <laughs> as long as it holds air, that's all it's supposed to do. But it did fascinating in the last quarter inch or so. I'll be able to show you later when it gets out of the way. But for whatever reason, the beginning of this is pretty, pretty sad. But up higher, it did really good. Yeah, up in there. Every time I go to point at something, that's where it goes. Right? There. <laughs> it did really good up there. We'll come back when it's done. One hour and 42 minutes. That's counting up because I think it counts the time from it starts to the time I power it off. Anyway, it's done. It didn't do great, but it didn't do bad. This wall, the bottom wall, are solid. It's got a little anchor over here. Got a little anchor over here. Side walls, bottom wall, top wall, pretty flimsy. The pole, obviously, didn't do so good. And if you look up there, we had some saggage as it tried to build this thing. Again, the fan itself. It's going to bolt into this, this, and the two bottom holes. So the fan itself will make that nice and solid. The only thing I'm worried about is right here. I'll have to fill those in. We definitely want all the air to go up in through that tunnel and across the, the stepper motor drivers. But all in all, not bad. It's actually pretty good stuck down. It doesn't want to move. But I don't want to break this bottom plate out, so I'm going to be really careful here. I'm trying to pry this up.
this side of it is actually the only thing that matters. The rest of that's just support. It doesn't make any difference. This bottom plate, I really want to keep in, in one piece. Loose. Only some of it. Oop, can't lift on that. And of course, I picked the whole glass up. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to get that off, start cleaning it up, and then we'll start building the the tunnel in there that I showed you earlier. Okay, well actually that peeled off a lot easier than I thought it would. Oop. Came off mostly in one piece. Not too bad. Here you can see how bad it, it did on that upper bridge there. But, like I said, the fan itself, that when it goes in there will make that good. Yeah, we need to work on the bridge part. We can clean that all up. Um, for its first bridge, not bad. Not great, but not bad. And peel this support structure out. Now, it's actually a pretty hefty structure. Now the bottom of this is not great. and seems rough. But I guess that's the good thing that it's on the bottom. Main part here, if I can get it to stand, there we go. I want to fill in those gaps. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt some of this in some acetone. Kind of just layer it in there. And then uh, the worst parts of this, I'll hit it with the sander. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be on the bottom. But as far as what you are going to see, you won't see those strings there, but you'll be able to see this part of it, and this wall, and those are pretty solid. There's some lines right there, I'll move it up where you can see it in the light. And the bottom's got some scoring, I don't know what this zigzag, or not zigzag, but these lines coming out, I don't know why it did that. But all in all, that bridge was bad. I suppose if this was thicker, it would have been okay. I mean, it's it's good that it's not a structural part of anything. The fan will bolt into those four holes that are part of this. That is, this is solid. So, all in all, not a bad print. Oh, not great. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started on that. The duct part that goes in here that will actually bolt up to those two holes. And while that's printing, I'll, I'll clean some of this up. Cut out the worst of it with a pair of like, like dikes or metal cutters. Clean that all up. And then we'll worry about filling this in. Oh yeah, the main part of this now if you remember and yes I'm doing this all by hand holding the camera is this is going to be like this with the motherboard on top of it and this part I have to trim because I made it big on purpose I'll have to trim the edges off here but this will bolt up to those those holes now I was looking at it, I was going to put it underneath, obviously with that fan ducting, that is not going to happen. <laughs> so we'll have to trim it so it fits up here on top, like this. And then I see what that fan duct is doing, and what the idea is, is some of that air is going to be directed underneath the board, underneath where those stepper drivers are going to be. 
kind of a neat little design that I didn't even realize that the, the guy had done. I am going to be going back to Thingiverse. Even though my print wasn't good, and I think I'm going to donate a couple of bucks to him. Um, maybe $15, I think. I don't know if anyone else is, and I don't care if anyone else is. That was actually some pretty good thinking. I know my freaking thing don't fit. And you can see that that little duck's going to go underneath, underneath the motherboard, right across here where those stepper drivers are going to be. Plus, you got it coming across the top in that tunnel. So yeah, I mean, if that don't cool it, well, piss on those stepper motors at no. <laughs> Did see up oh, right there there's some scoring as well. But again, I think that's just my printer, my slicer. The print um the print is good. Uh, I'm still pretty happy. There's some tweaking I gotta do. I gotta figure out what's and why it had such an issue with that bridge. The circle as you can see it did good on. Those strings hanging down are actually from up above. Uh, the circle here, it did just fine. It didn't have any issues building that. All those strings are from what sagged underneath from this part. Alright, let's get this cleaned up. Get that next one going. And we'll be back.